Hi everyone, I hope you're good guys and welcome for a new video. So today I have my hand on the Arturia Micro Freak. So last year I purchased the Minebrew 2S, but if you check my video about the Minebrew 2S, uh, you know that I've been hesitating between these two and I only end by the Minebrew 2S. But I always wanted to have my hand on it and Arturia nicely sent it to me so I could have a try. And I've been using it for the last couple of months and I have tried to experiment it with a lot. And I even made a, a preset bank that you can find the link in the description if you want. It's a good way to support me. And today I wanted to show you, instead of doing a classic review because the synthesizer it's already two years old and there is plenty of review on each parameter, what does what, I have kind of want to make a kind of a review slash tutorial so basically the idea of the video is how we go through each oscillator and telling you how i like to use them the way i use i use them but along that i will explain you how i use the cycling envelope for example and i will explain you how the cycling envelope work i will talk about a bit of the arpeggiator the sequencer depending on the oscillator and on what i'm creating live i will talk about a little bit of everything so it's kind of a review but slash tutorial and because I will cover pretty much all of the things, all of the parameter, the matrix, but as well I will show you a way to kind of create sound and show you how it can sound for techno. So I will just talk a little bit less about the arpeggiator sequencer and the cycling envelope because I want to make another video where I create a preset from scratch and where I will use like the sequencer to create a techno bass sequence and the cycling envelope to create kind of a noisy rhythm hats. So I will cover it a little bit today, but both of them. But yeah, if you want a more in depth, uh, don't forget to subscribe and you will get the notification of the video when it's out. So, all right, let's dig into it. What I like with this end is it's like pretty simple. You have oscillator, you have the analog filter, and then you have a cycling envelope, which is basically you can use as a regular envelope or you can use as a LFO basically. And you have a normal envelope as well, which is controlling both uh, amplitude and the filter. Here you can control the amount of filter modulation and you have LFO. So it's kind of like the mini root 2S, it's kind of the circuit is kind of basic but then they always add this little extra thing which makes things more interesting and in the mini root 2S was the patch bay and here you have the matrix which is really cool and you can really uh, quickly assign your, your modulator so which is mean like the envelope, the cycling envelope, the LFO the pressure you can really quickly assign it to almost everything and it's super quick to assign and we're gonna dip into that right now so as you can hear i had a little bit of effect uh, i always like to put just like it's not big big effect but just a little bit to really hear how the sound sound because it's when it's dry i found it's always super hard uh, to really know the potential because they can basically all sound the same but when you dip into the reverb or a bit of delay it's straight away can really hear how a scent can shine or not so let me know if in the comment if you don't like the reverb let me know i will stop putting it but i think it's nice to have a little bit of reverb not too excessive obviously so first oscillator you have the basic wave and so the wave button it's basically kind of more between the a, here was more a square and then you go into more like a sawtooth then I think it's like kind of two sawtooths something like this and timber is a kind of it's kind of a pulse width and then you have shape which is a sub oscillator so first thing I would like to I like to do is for example I will bring the timber halfway and like because it's a kind of pulse width, a good way is to modulate it with LFO and um, gonna be go down and so here easy you select your matrix so here it's pretty easy how it's sound you need to go to timber and to LFO so you need to like make the connection you just click and then you have to put the amount that you want here So let's go this way, not too much at the beginning, and then you can, I'm going to unsync the rate. And you get this kind of super slow, pretty sweet day tune, which is nice. And 
and that's the trick I like to do. Then after you just need to bring down the filter, add a bit of filter envelope, bring down the attack, bring down the sustain, and you can get you kind of like a bit more. You can have a nice bass line already from that. Another thing I like to do is if I need a key sound more, uh, you can use, the, I like to use the shape, you can add sub, but obviously if you don't want the subby sound, if you go around 50, around 50 I like because it adds harmonic, but the thing if you go upper, it's kind of muffled sound. You see what I mean? So I like to go around here, like this is add harmonic, but without making you sound. So, so yeah, that one thing I like to do. If you want a different way to use the LFO, one thing I like to do as well is, uh, so I'm gonna remove the amount. And I'm gonna go on the pitch. And I'm gonna... So obviously you got... You can get this kind of vibrato, tremolo effect, but what I like to do is use the square, sync your oscillator. And maybe... If you bring up the sustain... Maybe now bring it... I really like to use the square and on the pitch to have this kind of jump in pitch. So that's another way I like to use. Obviously these tips can apply to other oscillator, but yeah, for this kind of sound up, oh, let me reset everything. So let's go now into uh, the super wave. So obviously this one, I'm gonna bring everything down to zero. It's nice if you're looking for trancey kind of sound and you can choose diff the good thing is you can choose different kind of waveform. So for example, we're gonna start classic with the sawtooth and you can detune them with the timber and then with the shape you can you can get this nice One thing is great with that, you can add a bit of glide around, let's say, 30 milliseconds. Maybe 60 milliseconds. So, I'm not a keyboard player at all, so sorry if I play kind of shitty melody, but... You get the idea, you can get... Nice drone. One thing I like if, if you want to do more drone, like bassy sound, I like to use more like the square. So I go up until the square. And you can hear the sound is nice already. If I bring down the filter again, I apply filter modulation, short attack, uh, a bit of sustain, but not too much, a bit of decay. And you can. That's nice. So another thing I like to do is to use the basic sine waves, but to detune a little bit the sine wave. And like this, you got a key sound a little bit nicer. And then if you want to activate the up and kind of making up, I need to press play. So yeah, cool thing, you can, cool thing with the up, 
once you got something, you just press Alt. And if, for example, you like this sequence, you can actually make it like a sequence, which means like if I press Shift and I press A, now the sequencer mode is activating and I can play it at different pitch. Which is uh, pretty cool. Okay, last thing I'm gonna reset. Last thing I like to do, it's use the super. So by default, uh, the microfic is mono, but you have this paraphonic mode, and you can now play core, which is kind of dope, and it's obviously super cool uh, with super so because you can. Create nice pad and you s and you can you can now modulate uh, for example the timber with let's say the cycling envelope and the cool thing with the cycling envelope is you can uh, you see you have a kind of a triangle modulation but you can choose the rise to be shorter or longer than the fall so maybe you're gonna hear it better with the cutoff and the cool thing is if you hold paraphonic and let's say you can make a minor chord so one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Now, if you press just this note, it's gonna play a mono chord. That's pretty cool as well, that like you don't have to struggle all the time. And then what I like to do is basically transform my super soul into a chord maybe. So bring down the sustain. I can add a bit of attack. And you have the cycling envelope which is always kind of changing the timber. Uh, if you want so yeah that's another way i like to use the super saw with chord as well and the paraphonic mode it's uh, pretty cool so then let's jump into the wave table so this is similar to the ableton wave table let's say you have first 16 different table and you can have the position you can move so this I don't have any special tips, it's just according to what you like and what you are looking for. Cool thing again, modulate the timber. So again, I'm gonna use the cycling envelope because I really like. And I'm gonna show you one thing I like to do. It's I put in run and then I bring the rise down, but then I bring down the fall as well, almost to, to zero. And you can see how by subtly changing the, the, the time you can get different kind of tone and you can control the amount as well. When you get very close to zero, it's and 
And you can pray with the right as well. And yeah, you can get nice plucky sound and very metallic and kind of industrial. So obviously you will need to put maybe a bit more reverb and but and yeah, kind of nice metallic sound. So this kind of method I apply it to the timber, but cool thing you can do is you can apply it to the pitch and it's kind of creating kind of FM modulation. So uh, I'm gonna leave it on the timber like this, but I'm gonna go on the pitch. And when you make, when you select the big pitch amount, so here it's kind of weird, but I'm gonna bring down the rise, and then again I play with the fall time and very small value. You can see I'm never going too much. And that's something I love to do as well. And you can see up different kind of crazy tone. And yeah, that's something. That's something I like. This is something I do almost not all the time, but it's a cool trick which is working all the time. And that's why I like the cycling envelope because because playing with the rise and fall when you apply a strong pitch modulation or even the timber here, it gets weird metallic FM kind of sound and that's really great. So let me reset again. There is one more thing I want to talk about with this uh, waste table. So this one is because it's got a, it got a chorus. So here again, I'm gonna apply a LFO on the timber, like slow LFO. And because of the chorus, the cool thing is playing chord as well here, so activate the paraphonic mode. Maybe go with a band pass this time, and cool thing I like to do as well when you use the band pass is use it to mo slightly move, a bit like if it was doing kind of dubbish. So just small amount, 1.5. Maybe bring the resonance up. And obviously it's kind of effect which needs a bit more reverb and delay, but... But yeah, that's another way I like to use uh, this oscillator. All right, let's move into the next one. Let's read that and we've got... Harmonic. So I found this one a bit less versatile than the other. It's mainly plucky kind of exotic sound. And the thing is with this one, when you bring harmonic up, it became very noisy and very uh, a bit disturbing for me for my ear, like uh, unpleasant, let's say. But cool thing if if you wanna remedy to that is subtractive synthesis or so bring a cut off, bring a Envelope, sustain down, bit of decay. So now you get 
you get nice plucky uh, melodic sound. So here again, modulate. The timber, either if you want to do a pad with a slow LFO, if you want to do more kind of FME sound with a cycling envelope or even on the pitch straight away. You don't need to be brutal like before, you can just go 30% and... So obviously this always depends on which note you play. Even with the iPad filter, maybe. Like iPad filter, usually when you engage it, bring the filter among modulation the other way around. Usually, if you want a plucky sound with the low pass filter, you go positively. Now, with the iPad filter, I go negatively and I still get my plucky sound. Uh, here maybe maybe a arp how we put you can get the rate bit resonance maybe if you want this kind of noisy Yeah, that's one thing I love with the Microfic is it's easy to get this kind of noisy and squeaky texture. And after when you apply a low pass, uh, high pass filter, this can easily be a nice ambience in the background that you can put and make it evolve. Here again, you can apply a, a slow LFO on the cutoff to make it move. I'm not going to do it again, but that's one of the things you can do, obviously. So next one is car plus string. So this is very look very like a kind of string percussive sound so you have this bow which is kind of kind of making a sound of detune a little bit this kind of change a little bit the timbre of the sound and then the GK so so here nothing more special to say than uh, than the other, uh, I usually, because it's kind of a weird one, so I will, if I use this one, I will usually always, again, modulate the pitch with the cycling envelope. Or you can, as well, because of because of the bow and this kind of dead tune and this long decay, you can put in paraphonic mode and kind of play a, a kind of chord as well. So either, I don't know, let's say like zero, plus three, Plus five, plus eight, and again, again you can modulate the timber to have a, a kind of nice evolving song. Yeah? Obviously, this is modulated by LFO, and yeah, otherwise it's nice as well for the pad to use as a high pass filter. Uh, really nice things. All right, next one is the virtual analog. So this one is one of my uh, favorite. This one is a bit like the, I would say like the mini Bruce. Uh, 2s oscillator one is it's big you have just one oscillator but you have a you can like kind of blend different waveforms so you have 
the shape which is sounding like a, a sawtooth and you have the timber which sounds like a, a square and then after you have a wave which is like kind of detuned both uh, waveform and what I like to do is basically starting with the shape one so the sawtooth so either you want something like very crispy here is something maybe more subby and then I will bring up the the square form so the timber until like I can find a nice detune effect between both and then when I have this I will play with the shape and detune even more So then after it's just up to your taste and what you are looking for obviously. I like like this. Now it's nice and detuned and yeah, again I'm gonna do a plucky sound, bring down the sustain, bring down the attack and then when you cut a knob and you just, I don't know I uh, need to be prey Put it in up. And with the arpeggiator it's great because you can put order and then like this you can for example uh, make a kind of sequence. And then again you press hold, hold sorry, and then you can create your own patch. And again if you like the sequence just press shift and you can press A and now it's in sequencer mode and you can transpose but you can play high or not obviously <laughs> yeah that's one thing I love with this uh, set it's like it's very easy to get something uh, nice out of it so yeah let's jump oh no let's jump into the wave shaper one so here again you can hear what well, that's one thing I like to do is I'm modulating manually uh, the, the knob and I can see how I could modulate it later with the cycling envelope or with the, with the LFO but yeah here Here, another thing I'm gonna do is maybe uh, use the LFO and modulate. Modulate the pitch like I've done before. After you don't need to especially play like a lead again, you can bring down the sustain. 
Well, I wouldn't recommend to have both modulation then. I'm gonna remove the LFO, but... You can get this... Metallic... Percussive element. So, uh, yeah, one thing, just be gentle with the GK because uh, I would have liked if it was a bit more subtle between the plucky and I found there was a very big jump around one second and which is really kind of hard sometimes to fine tune to kind of you see like how it jump between one three it's very plucky it's nice and then one four it's already too much that's one thing I don't really like, but yeah, another metallic percussion. All right, so then the next one we have the two operator FM. So this is great for classic FM sounds. One thing I like to do first is a good way to have sine wave. You can apply a bit of pitch envelope to get a nice light detune. So I'm just gonna do that envelope here. You don't. You want something very subtle around around one is really to give a bit of character to your sound and it's really nice again after if you use an arpeggiator and again all And all right, so it's FM, so you can this is a kind of self-explanatory uh, oscillator. I don't have much. It's FM, so you have to try things. But as you can see, it's sounding pretty, pretty good. And you can go even further and add pitch. Like do again with the cycling envelope some FM modulation with so you go to your cycling envelope. Oh sorry. And let's go around twenty maybe and then again sorry. <laughs> You can get nice. Maybe add a bit of glide. Let's try. No. But yeah, powerful oscillator. This one I really like it. Again, it's nice to play with the LFO and change maybe uh, other stuff. So next one is uh, the formant. So this is kind of, of... So first for two things. You can hear already for like plucky sound is... It's... A bit of resonance. Very nice, maybe a band pass as well. Usually when I use the band pass, uh, my filter envelope is a bit less strong than with the low pass filter. But this sound with a longer delay it will... Like, let me change the delay. So 
So what I've done again with the cutoff, when I usually do that, what I'm doing is I'm replicating it on the matrix. So I go to LFO and I choose sine wave and the sync. Maybe a bit more. So for example, on this patch, I found the level a little bit, a bit down. You can what you can do, you can go to utility and you can click on preset and preset volume, and you can uh, get it a bit louder. There is a lot of and other interesting thing. You can choose the scale. I usually use global, but if for example you're already working on a project and where for example you are in F minor, you can here uh, choose for example minor, and then after you can choose the root note and select. F minor and uh, now this way is gonna work like with the push and the scale. You see, like you can you cannot play wrong note who are not in the scale. So this can be like as general I think, but you can do by preset as well, which is great. And yeah, there is other stuff I'm not gonna go, but there is a lot of uh, other cool things that you can change in the utility. Just have a look, have a look at the manual as well. But yeah. For a month, I like to play in the lower note, especially. There is this kind of growling vibes that... With a band pass again. works well so that's a way I like to use the format otherwise I don't use that much because it's it's kind of weird sounding but for plug and for this kind of weird stuff it's nice and again eh, you are free to use some FM modulation on top of it and stuff like that so then we have chords so obviously this is great for dubby surf, so you can choose what type of chord you want. Let's say minor. And you can kind of have different inversion and transposition. That's obviously up to your taste. So I like this very form. And again, band pass maybe. Exactly like I've just done a bit of. Oh, oh. Either with the low pass filter. But. Yeah, that's the same that I showed you before, the same way you can use it. Here again, what is cool with the cycling envelope is you can, like I said before, you can set different rise and fall time and... So you want something long, let's say around 2 seconds. And let's say the other one 4 seconds. You can change play with the resonance. But one thing I like to do, let me reset. What I like to do is use the arpeggiator, uh, but modulate the, the timbre. 
and you're gonna understand why so let me do that let me take the team up oh, timber modulated by the LFO and I want to change it every 16 actually because I'm gonna have a 16 up But in random, all right. So now when I, I'm gonna make it, make it plucky and so now when I engage the up and I press. So maybe. I like to use that because you get this weird detune. So I put in random. But after it's too much, just have to be subtle. And you can try different kind of I like this kind of vibes as well. Obviously the code you can play parts. Uh, and next one. Uh, we have so we have speech. So at first I was like, okay, this I'm never gonna use it. Uh, but if you I found a way to use it. Uh, so first bring the type around 100, the timber around 50 and then after you can once you get when you once you get can hear the word properly that's great and you can what i like to do is again to use the cycling envelope to modify the timber. So here. And it's a great oscillator on the end because you can really get different kind of weird tone out of and then after you can change the word so one thing here yeah, you have to have a very short attack and decay so either So yeah, that's one thing I recommend to do. So remember, put is check in the manual because that's that's how they ought to do, to say like to really hear the speech properly. Bring the type wave at 100%, timber around 50, and then after you can hear the word properly. So here I still have my modulation, but yeah, then after you can play with the amount of modulation as well.
That's interesting as well. So yeah, don't be like me, be like oh, to be like, oh I don't like this oscillator, it's like a weird world. Why would I use that? Think about chopping a little bit of this wall of the of the world to kind of make it a new sound out of it. Alright, then uh if we have our modal so this one again is sounding like uh, the car plus like kind of string string percussive exotic kind of stuff so here it's nice to go in the, in the low frequency again uh, any kind of bell sound as well so if you bring the DK a bit up and you need to bring a bit of inharmonic and you get this kind of bell sound again paraphonic and you can maybe bring a little bit of attack around 60 milliseconds and if you bring a bit more reverb you can have like let me show you uh, and then again if you bring the sustain and you play Bring the shape up and you can have like weird so that's pretty cool too i'm gonna just bring back the reverb to something more normal but yeah for all of this kind of bell sound it's uh, really good all right so next one and last one we have the noise one so this one i've been added after uh, as you can hear when you play with everything down you have this kind of cracker which can be nice the more you go up with wave you get a kind of metallic sound and If you go up at the maximum I mean this is, you can see already again if you want something percussive bring down the sustain but all is in the same pitch but when you press this timber it's kind of changing the pitch so one thing funny you can do is basically to assign the key up to uh, the timber so basically what it's gonna do is gonna kind of the lower the notch is gonna change the timber and the higher the notch is gonna change as well and it's gonna act like if it was like uh, you see here all the notes are the same whatever note i play on the keyboard is the same sound but if i apply key up timber 100 percent now Yeah, and one thing I need to do, sorry, and you bring this one at 50%. And that's cool because you can now kind of... It's not really on tune, but who cares? You don't really need... But yeah, and you can get oh, a nice melodic stuff out of out of this noise. So let me reset everything. So you can timber act like a bit crusher a little bit. We can, and this is the balance between the noise and. the sign
So I like to don't bring too much of this scent sound on top. This is nice like to kind of So yeah, you can have and what I like to do is now if you bring the arpeggiator and put in sync So one thing I like to do is if you modulate the decay with the cycling envelope basically and so here I don't have GK on this one so the easy way to uh, assign that you just press on the button and turn the button and you have now you uh, GK release to assign one and you can now to control the GK with the cycling envelope so yeah one thing when the operator is engaged you need to have always you Ableton playing otherwise it won't work but then so you can hear I'm gonna even pick you can hear the, the rise is longer so you can hear the opening is longer and then it's closed down that's and if you want now it's more like and you can even go further because now for example you can modulate the fall with your LFO so you can easily do that by press assign fall and then you go to your LFO and now you have your 16 arts pattern which is evolving by itself So I'm gonna stop there but you can even go further and I will do in the other video to have for example the cycling envelope controlling the rate of your LFO and like this is even getting a bit more crazy but I will come back to this in another video and I will take time to explain a little bit better. But yeah that's pretty much it. I think I show you more or less how I use everything. So obviously it's a scent where you have to experiment a lot as you can see. Sometimes it's come well sometimes no but usually it always sounds good. I mean it's most of the time sounding good even without doing no much. So again, I haven't talked much about the sequencer, the op, but I will talk about it in another video. And same with the cycling envelope and the LFO. I already talked a little bit about it with the noise, but I will go a little bit more deeper. But other than that, I think I cover more or less everything. The glide, the modulation, the paraphonic mode, different kind of filter, how to use the filter. So I hope you like this little review. Uh, I've made, by the way, a preset bank just for this uh, microfic, where you can find the link in the description with the demo to listen this kind of, the kind of sound that you can find. And it's a good way as well to uh, support me and to kind of reverse engineer all the presets as well. And yeah. All right. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And see you soon. Bye bye.